Hi guys, uh, alright, so what uh, I'm going to go through uh, in the next video or two that I put together are, are just writing some basic programs in Java using NetBeans. So um, the very first thing that I'm going to do uh, when I go to create a new program, obviously I'm going to open up NetBeans. I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to say New Project. I want to select Java, Java application, and I want to say next. Now, keep a little bit of an eye here, because this is kind of where things are going to get uh, a little bit important. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to try to keep my files organized, and we're going to be writing a lot of programs over the next few weeks. So, to do that, I'm going to kind of group them by units. Okay, so. I'm going to actually make my project location. I'm going to tack unit one into the uh, the name here. You'll notice that when I do that, it'll automatically land in my project folder. Now, the very first program I'm going to write is I'm going to compile um, a program that's just going to print my name, nothing other than that, and we're going to call that name. Okay. Now you'll notice it has a, a create a main class thing going. Uh, so let's leave this click for this time and just see what happens. All right. So the system goes through and churns out a bunch of stuff, and all of a sudden, I have a basic shell of a program for me to work with. Uh, you guys have done some stuff with uh, C Sharp in the past. It, it's kind of similar to that. So when we take a look at what what do we have on the go here, the first thing you're going to see is this package name thing. Now this isn't required, but it has to do with some of the file structuring of what's going on. Um, we're going to do this example with that in place, and then the next example we're going to do we're going to take that part out. So when I want to print something off here. This becomes really simple because I just want to do a system call. So system, and I want to. I have my three streams. If you think back to Unix, the the standard in, standard out, standard error. Guess what? Here it is again. So we're going to go standard out, and I'm going to use print. LN. Now the print LN um, is just print line, so it actually does a carriage return after the print symbol. Uh, not important for this particular example, but will be important when we, uh, we try to do multiple print things. So here I'm just going to write out my name. So, so I put my name is Ed there, um, period at the end of it. And the last thing I have to do, and this part is very picky, is I need to tack in a semicolon at the end of my line. That tells me my line's done. So, um, only thing we've added is this one line that's kind of highlighted here now. So I've added system dot out dot print uh, in brackets. Quote: My name is Ed, and then I finished everything off with uh, a semicolon to end my line. Um, everything else is in this. I'm just going to run this now to see what we get. When I run it, you'll see that it says run down here. My name is Ed. It built successfully. It took almost no time. So at this point, that program is done. I want to quickly talk about a couple of parts of the program um, just very briefly. Now, this package name thing, we'll skip for now. But we'll come down. So public class name. So notice that my file name is capital name dot Java. My class name is capital name. When I created my project in the first place, uh, it set that part up for me. Now every pro every program you write at some point is going to need to have a main function or a main method right here. Um, again, I'm going to say public static void main. So public means it's public, static means that it it's it's kind of set. Um, void means 
the main program doesn't return a value. And then these two things here, string, this is an array of strings, and then a value argument. So that means that I can kind of pass arguments to my program. Uh, we'll get into bits and pieces of that a little bit later. This is how all the programs are going to pretty much start looking uh, when you start to run them here. Then the last thing that you're going to see is the one bit of commands that I'm actually running inside of this, which is uh, system.out.println uh, and then my information. So all of that together uh, allows for you to write again a very simple program. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new program. So new project next. Now again notice unit one is already there so we don't need to do that a second time. When we start to do some unit two stuff we'll change that to unit two. Um, so this one here we're going to call this one address. Now this time I'm going to see this create main class. I'm going to just take that out for now and we'll finish. Alright so now we'll go into here. What you notice is that by not having that main class in there, we don't get to see that first file. So at this point, we're going to go, oh, well, that's no good. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to delete it from my folder tree as well. So that's all I have to do. And then I'll clean through that tree for you, and I'll do it again. New project application. And I'll call this one address. This time I will tell it to create the main class for me. And I'll say finish. And sure enough, all my information's here. Now, in this particular case, um, this is an example from number six from your textbook. Uh, I want to uh, write and compile a um, uh, a program that's going to display my name my address, my city, state and zip or province and area code um, on three separate lines on the screen and uh, it's going to have to be called address.java so my creation part already took care of the first part of this so now all I have to do is kind of the rest of it. Again system.out.out print and again I'm going to use the print line for now and we're going to say uh, where am I going to need I need me address let's say one two three Somewhere Avenue, uh, I'm going to say, Newfoundland. Actually, let's just do the bunch of these somewhere Avenue. I'm going to say, oh, it's about that long. Um, say Newfoundland. A five A five A five. Okay, so that I think we got everything there. We got city, province, zip code, full name, street address. So. All of that information is there. At this point, I'm just going to go to run it. When I go to run it, you'll see that, sure enough, uh, it printed out exactly what I have in this part here. Now, let's say I just a little quirk of working with NetBeans now. Uh, we had a little checkbox when we created this to set this to be the main project. So, watch what happens when I go back to name. I go back to name and I hit my 
play. You notice this says run main project. So all of a sudden I'm getting John Doe, 123 Somewhere Avenue, Newfoundland, Canada, 5A, 5A, 5A5. So you're going, well, why is that happening? Well, the reason that's happening is that that's running, that there runs your main project. See? Run main project. So if you don't set something up as your main project while you're using it, what you end up having to do is you need to come over and kind of highlight it over on your project side. And then you can come down and right click and select run from there. And it'll run something that's not set as a main project. So that's uh, two quick examples. I want to do up another clip or two of working with NetBeans for you uh, as I'm moving along today. So I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye for now.